Good evening and welcome. Yay, someone's joined me. <laughs> I thought for one awful moment. <laughs> right. Trouble is when you do two videos, you don't know if you're looking at the first one or the second Trouble one. Is when you do two okay, I've got it. Let me just pop that up there. Excellent. Okay. Let's make sure that people are joining us. They are. Excellent. Thank you. Hope you've all had a lovely day. And thank you for all the hellos. I don't know if I came on a little bit early, but I was sitting here thinking, oh, might as well go on. <laughs> so I hope that I know lots of you um, joined this morning. So thank you very much for that. And I hope if you weren't able to join this morning that you've managed to watch on Rewind. And thank you, Sarah, you did notice. <laughs> oh, brilliant, excellent. Um, yeah, so lots of beautiful inspiration being shared on social media today, um, which is fantastic. Have to say a huge thank you to the design team. They are absolutely amazing. You're right, I have the best design team ever. They are so creative. Um, absolutely amazing um so yeah and i've got lots more to share with you this evening so um yeah i couldn't do it without them they they really are incredible so thank you for all the lovely comments this morning so that was fabulous of you all so i want you to share lots of hearts this evening for them um and just want to say hello to everybody i'm not saying hello to everyone and the reason for this is that i'm going to upload the video to youtube and it just, I watched a little bit this morning and if you, um, oh, sorry, I watched a previous one and when you hear all the hellos, it's like, what's going on? Because it's not on there. So there's no words that are on there or no comments like there is on here when you're all saying hello. So, so yes, hello. <laughs> okay, so a few more things I want to tell you about. So um, I've also added, so I put a list on the top of my, Julie Hickey Designs page to show to let you know where all the stockists are that have the stamps. They have been arriving today, and I know lots of them, lots of the uh, retailers have been working late getting the orders out because um, their deliveries didn't come till this afternoon. So I apologise about that, but I'm just glad that everybody's got their orders, you know, being dispatched and everything now. Um, the Art of Crafts also are going to stock them, they will be on their way to them and also um, Paula at the Stamp Hut will be having them at her next show. So I put a link on there to her Facebook page um, and I will um, shout about where she's gonna be next. I think she said it was the 12th of June that she's gonna be at a show. Um, so if, if you're out and about, um, what else? Oh, the Pinterest boards, just want to promote that as well. So if you go to pinterest.com forward slash Julie Hickey Designs, there is a board for each of the products. So all the design team samples are on there. Um, so lots and lots of inspiration for all the different uh, parts of the collection. Told you about YouTube, said thank you to the DT. Also the list of stockists, which I've told you about and just want to reiterate, it's not gonna be on the TV at the moment. Don't have any shows booked in at the moment. So it is only gonna be available from the retailers. So yeah, if you do want it, head over to a retail, support the little shops, the independents. Um, and the other thing I wanted to say as well was that I will be back on tomorrow night at eight o'clock on the Julie Hickey Designs page again. Um, gonna do a Facebook Live, but I'm gonna create something tomorrow. So if you can join me for that, wonderful. So I'm gonna flip the camera and we'll have a look through the collection again and the boards and then some different samples. And I'm also gonna show you how beautiful those flower dies cut, so bear with me. Okay, and I'll bring my lights all back in now. Get that positioned. Bring my lights back down, and this one round. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. I will bring each product up because of the glare from the packaging. So, this is the Sweet Meadow which is the one that got everything started. So this is what I drew first of all. So got some lovely new flowers in here, different designs. Um, yeah, 
great for if you want a, a card in a hurry, just one stamp and you've got a lovely image for your card. Fabulous if you like to colour in as well. This is a real lovely one to colour. Um, yeah, so just does many different occasions. Great all-rounder, really. Um, and then we have the Sweet Meadow. And this is the Sweet Meadow Blooms. And this is actually individual flower heads that you can put. So I've done a stem with some leaves. In fact, I'm going to turn it upside down a minute. So they've got the stems with the leaves and they face one face left and one face right. So you can do lovely bunches of flowers, which that's one thing that whenever you get a stem, it usually goes one way and all the flowers have to go the one way. So I wanted to do it so that you had a stem that went in opposite direction so that you could build up your own bunches or bouquets of flowers and then you've also got the different flower heads that feature on the main stamp set um, they are slightly different size i think yeah i think they are so you could layer them up as well 3d them but it's lovely you'll see in the samples that the two work so well together and i it was driving me mad this morning um Wendy messaged me and she said I think you were trying to think of Gipsop Gipsop uh, <laughs> Gipsop I can't say it now you know baby's breath isn't it called as well what they have in wedding bouquets I think that is what I was trying to draw anyway they're Julie flowers but yeah this one is beautiful just why can't I say it I can't okay so then we've got bouquet of blooms so this is two lovely corner stamps um different com like components of the flowers this one's got more flowers in it um this is great for a bottom corner this is great for a top corner you could draw your lines in you've got the f little flowers here as well so you could 3d them up if you want to and these are great filler in so if i've done a, a frame which i will show you later that's what i'm trying to say but i can't say it just so it's off. I can't say. Oh, sorry. Anyway, so these little flowers are great infillers, um, but you could use them for 3D as well. And then lastly in the stamps, we've got Sweet Sentiments. And these are beautiful sentiments. Hazel was asking me for some bigger ones as well as some customers asked as well. Um, so just really nice to have those. I love the really plain text, but then that lovely fancy font for that focal point word. Um, you've got to my lovely friend. You've got wishing you a special, wishing you a day as special as you are. Send in love and hope. Wishing you the most wonderful birthday. Enjoy, shine bright, and sending you sunshine and smiles today and always. So really, they will cover so many different occasions. <laughs> I love it. Someone spelt it out how I should say it. Gypsophila. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, yeah, so these look fabulous heat embossed as well. Absolutely gorgeous for a focal point on your card. And then we've got the flower dies. And this is a big set of dies. And I showed this this morning, like over two stamps, two A A6 stamp sets wide. So fantastic. And not only have you got the retro daisy, but you've got these flowers as well. And you've got the ones that give you the lovely thin, super, super thin um, die cut flowers. But it gives you the petals as well. So you can paper piece them as well if you want. Um, and then you also get the outline. So you can do a shadow around it. Um, Hazel's done a beautiful card that I showed this morning where she's created a stencil using this part. And then she's inked over it, but then put the detail of the, of the flowers over the top. So you'll be able to watch, if you didn't see it this morning, then you can watch it anytime you want. Um, we've got the daisy as well, and then this other flower. We've also got the different stamens to go in the middle, which look beautiful done in glitter cards and miri card and things like that. And then we've also got three hearts as well. So that's the flower dies. I should show you my board because this does show them beautifully. I've got those lovely retro daisies. You also get the centres. And I showed a card this morning that Emma had made where she'd used the actual centres to look like sequins on her card, done them out of Miri board, and they looked beautiful. And then these are your different um, stamens to go in the middle. And they work so that they go into the, they'll go into the five petal daisies in petal flowers sorry they'll go into here beautifully but they look lovely on on the six petal daisy too and then you get the shadows 
and then you so this is just showing how you can paper piece those bits back into the middle as well if you want to and then we've got our leaf dies so you've got this lovely sprig and somebody put that it looked like maiden hair fern and it does actually i hadn't even thought about that when i drew it but it does and then this one is obviously based on my loving thought stamp doesn't die cut it um, but it's it's similar to that design and again these cut out really lovely thin outlines of it and then you've got the center pieces so you can paper piece them you've got two leaves a little sprig and then you've got the heart as well that cuts a frame and a heart um, just really lovely as well forgot what I was going to say yeah so they cut the outside it'll come back to me so this is my leaf board so I think this is fabulous to do for a um, sympathy card beautiful done in, in layers of vellum beautiful done in white and layered up maybe some glitter card um, this one's got the centers filled in as well which makes this beautiful and then again showing how you can paper piece the different pieces inside and again that lovely i love it is like maiden hair fern actually and they've got that's what i was going to say they've got great snippability so you can definitely cut into these I showed some samples that Hazel had done where she put, um, she'd use the black, she'd die cut them from black on the base of her card and then she's used the white on the front and she snipped into them so she'd only got part of it and it did look lovely. So again, another really great way. I think it's just such a versatile collection. Everybody will always use flowers. So, you know, a, a reason to, to get it. <laughs> Okay, and I, no I noticed a comment come up about the retro daisies. I didn't see it fully, um, but they were Joe Street's cards. Weren't they beautiful? Absolutely stunning. Oh, I'm going to show, if I get onto the cards, I'm going to show you this that um, Emma Smith has made. And it's beautiful box. Like, it's not a hexagon, is it? Is it an octagon? Yeah, it's got eight sides, isn't it? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, oh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I've forgotten what they're called. My mass was a long time ago. I want to say a dodecahedron, but I don't know if that's right. Anyway, it's beautiful. And she's done these beautiful flowers inside. Little pots with leaves in them. We've got leaves in the background. And just look how fine that gold Miri card is on the outline of those flowers. Isn't that beautiful? But this was what I didn't show this morning. Absolutely stunning. I might show the big ones again in, towards the end. So these are the Sweet Meadow. And I love this one. Again, uh, this is Emma's card. Look how beautiful that card. And again, it's embossed. So this morning we were talking... Um, Emma uses Versafine Clear and Clear Embossing Powder to do her embossing because it is so fine. And so look at all the detail on the stamp. Let me just see if my camera picks up on the focusing. Just absolutely beautiful. And this is how the, this really does show how well. This is the Sweet Meadow stamp as like the, the main one. And then all the flowers, the individual ones that you can use to build up and create a lovely background. And again, with the, the lovely sentiments, I do think I'm so glad that Hazel said about those because it's beautiful. And then this one of, of Philippa's, this is so clever. It wasn't until I actually got the cards out again and had a look. This has actually got, so she's stamped the Sweet Meadow. So she's got one Sweet Meadow and then she's done parts of the Sweet Meadow either side. So this is her main Sweet Meadow. But over the top, she's only coloured in the, the main flowers. But over the top, she's put die-cut retro daisies that are stamped, but they've got exactly the same, you know, like they're all lined up. Isn't that beautiful? Really, really different. Do the leaf dies have stamps? No, they're, they're completely standalone. So I wanted to do some, some dies that you just used as you got them. So no, they aren't, they aren't stamp and dies. They are just dies. So they're just going to die cut and you use them. You can stamp on them, absolutely, but there aren't actual stamps that match up with them. Um, this is one of mine that I did onto vellum. 
and I coloured this with Distressed Oxides and this has got um, Whale Platinum Embossing Powder on it. Can not pick it up? Just about, yeah. So absolutely beautiful and I mixed it in with one of my previous sentiments and again some little glosses and then I remembered a technique that Hazel did and haven't done it for a while so I stamped with um, seedless preserves and spritzed it with water and then over stamped with my black ink to put the detail back in and I, I, I didn't think of this I saw it I think it was on one of either Hazel's or Philippa's card where they cut the sentiment up and it was like, oh yeah, what a good idea. And I cut round my birthday as well. So if if you don't want a focal point sentiment, if you want something that's longer and thinner and goes across your card, you can do that with them as well. And then this one is just white embossing onto vellum. So got that sweet meadow, but it's just embossed in white. And then I added shine bright, but just added a little bit of colour. To the bottom don't forget you can see all of the cards on the pinterest boards as well and then this is lovely one of hazel's beautiful how she's mixed it with the dinky die dinky square dies i love how she's just cut out different sections this is saltwater taffy um the new colors just absolutely beautiful but all the little um squares that she's used and these are embossed heat embossed on here so beautiful really love that one and then this is another one of hazel's so she's used the bouquet of blooms around the edge of the card just to put something in the background and just watercolored parts of it and then she stamped it onto the lovely wood pattern paper as well and then colored the main design in it's absolutely beautiful and I love all the torn edges and going around the edge with the black ink just to draw draw your eye to it. Oh, and I'll tell you what else she's used. I've just spotted this. Hazel has uh, the deckle edge, or she did have, I shouldn't say she's got them. She did have the deck, whether she's still got them or not. She's probably watching so she can say. Um, but it's got a deckle edge, the Tim Holtz deckle edge guillotine. And she's cut the edge of her card with that. That looks absolutely beautiful. And goes in so well with the torn. Love that. And then this is uh, one of mine that I did again onto my scallop rectangle. Again, watercoloured with the distressed oxides. And then I wrapped a piece of vellum. Actually, I didn't wrap it. I just stuck it to the front of my card. And I put glue where the glosses were going to be. So I put my glosses on and then put glue behind them and then stuck it down. And I just did that in the black ink as well. So they are my Sweet Meadow cards. And like I say, don't forget you can see all of these on our Pinterest boards. So if you want to go back and have another look, they'll all be there. Then I have some of the Sweet Meadow blooms. So this is the other stamp set where you get just the flower heads and I've used the dinky rectangle to do the centerpiece with my sentiments so the the sentiments will fit on lots of the dinky dies which is really useful let's bring this up a little bit and I've added a bit of glitter glue to the centers of my flowers just 3D'd just picked out stamped again and cut out uh, just three of the flowers just to 3D those up and then I love this one that Hazel's done. Now this is onto the grey card and she's just um, stamped, just inked it. So it's not embossed and she's used the bleach to give those colours to her flowers, add that detail to it. Isn't that lovely? Stunning. And then this is one with that, that flower that I can't say <laughs> all the way around the edge. And then I added another flower head just to cover up where the the stems met um, and then I've heat embossed in platinum that lovely sentiment and again it's onto the dinky square die so they they fit these perfectly the the square the rec, uh, the hexagon and I'm sure they fit the circle as well and then I did I did do a set of hang on let me find the other two I did so I watched a video and I did a set of four cards I should be able to put them down the bottom here. There we go. 
So I did a set of four and just moved each square of colour around. Had one of the squares where you just put a sentiment. But wouldn't that make a lovely gift to, to give to somebody? So I did two that were layered onto white and two that were layered onto black. And the difference, quite it, it does look quite different. And I think it'd be really nice. You could parcel those up, put them with the, car, the envelopes and give it as a gift. And then I love the simplicity of this one that Philippa has done, where she's used one of the stems and some of the flowers. In fact, that flower, that little one together, I've just seen it, would make a beautiful butterfly. And the big one, actually. If you did two of the big one, it would make a lovely butterfly. Hmm. And then this one of Joe's that she's done. Again, that lovely dinky little square. She's used the hearts that come in with the flowers. And she's heat embossed in white, the sending you sunshine and smiles today and always. Very pretty. So they're my sweet meadow ones. Pop those away. And then I have my beautiful bouquets. So this is one that I did. So this is the one where I created, I just used one of the corners and did it um, bottom right bottom left and top right and then I filled in the gaps with the little individual flowers um, and again just that sentiment in the middle really easy to do um, stamped in black coloured with some distressed oxides and a bit of glitter glue because you should always have glitter glue and then I love this card that Philippa made I love this square effect that she's got it looked to me like a quilt absolutely beautiful and she's 3d'd her flowers as well so she stamped them and cut them out and add offset them so she's got different layers just think it's absolutely stunning and i assume that she's die cut a square and just done a little bit of ink blending in different places to give that that lovely quilted look but it almost like i want to touch it because it feels it does look quilted and then this is the one that i did as a frame so i was going to put this in a, a an actual frame and I didn't get round to it so this has got the four corners or one corner stamped four times sorry and then I've added just little flowers in between to fill the gaps and again just a few few little flowers around my sentiment and again that's heat embossed in the platinum it just looks beautiful and then lots of glitter glue Okay, so I think Philip. Oh, you use the dinky square dies. Oh, ex excellent, perfect. It's so lovely, Philippa. I love that card. And then this one as well of hazels. Isn't it funny how just certain cards like really catch your eye? I think this was the one that I saw that made me think about cutting the wording up. Um, and hazels mix, mix this one, mix this one up with the birthday die. So perfect way to do that as well. Um, she's got her corners that she's stamped onto the wood and she's coloured the flowers as well. It's absolutely beautiful. And again, some, some glitter glue. So perfect, perfect way to use the sentiments, cutting them up, making them fit where you want them to be. And then I, I love this one as well. This is onto craft card and she's got my, I don't know if it'll pick it up because it's quite faint. It's in soft green. But, oh, you can see it just about there. So it's got some wording stamped on the background. And she's done both corners on her craft card and then cut the centre out. It's been sprayed with Pearly Winks Diamond Pearl, I would imagine. I think that's what it is. And then I love how you can see through to see that sentiment and that lovely Gypsophilia. Is that right? Oh, I hope so. Um, and she's also done it in soft green in the background as well, which we saw that on a lot of Hazel's cards this morning. But just absolutely beautiful. And honestly, the shimmer on here, it is sort of picking it up. It is absolutely stunning. And then I've got a couple from Emma. And this one is, uh, I love this. So she's got the, the dinky circle dies with the bigger circle dies as well. Created an aperture for the inside of her card and then done a little bit of miri card and then i love how she's done she's layered the flowers up so we've got one two three different layers and each of the layers obviously gets smaller and the color 
goes into the centre, which I just think is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. And then we've got this. This is fabulous. She's heat embossed the beautiful blooms onto pattern paper in white. And it's a beautiful um, shaker card. So she's got all the sequins in the front here with these lovely bumblebees that are actually made from the petals, from the bits that are die cut from the petals of the daisy. And then the heart that comes in the kit and then the stamens for the <laughs> antennae. She's so clever. And then we've got sweet meadow along the bottom here. We've got the gyps off it, just gyps off <laughs> that flower <coughs> hanging down in here as well. It is just beautiful. And again, the sending sunshine and smiles today and always. But I thought the bees were so clever, so clever. So beautiful card, beautiful embossing. And lovely colouring. So, yeah, very, very clever. So they're my um, bouquet of blooms samples to show you. Let me just clear those away. And then I'm going to move on to the flowers. And I'm going to show you. I'll show you some samples and then... Oh, no, let's die cut them first. So I'm going to show you how beautiful they die cut. So I'm only going to use my little machine... I thought it was easier to have it in front of me and we will use this I think we'll have this that we'll use the daisy and we'll have a stain I'll just do a daisy and a stamen I think so I've got some mirror card if we have a gold for the stamen and I need let's do a nice bright color because then I want it to show up so let me just cut this down. Because I had it done in a really lovely, soft, pale colour, but obviously it's not very good for being able to see it. When I cut my cardstock down, if I'm going to do anything like this, I always put the die on it and then cut round it so that I don't cut too much or waste too much. So then pop them in and then because I want you to understand what you actually get so obviously from the stamen we're going to get that lovely and they just cut like a dream they they come out so easily in fact let's get there we go piece of white color looks like a spider doesn't it but yeah so and you can layer these up doesn't have to just be one you could layer lots together and so that's the stamen. And then with our daisy, oh, look, there you go. Perfect. You get all the petals and then in the daisy die. And I'm going to do a hazel now, I hope. Yep. <laughs> it came flying out. OK, so if you tap your die, it will come out. And look at that. How fine and beautiful is that? I just think they're absolutely amazing. And when you put several of them together, just fabulous. And then obviously if we die cut that, let's quickly die cut that in the gold. those petals off I have so many petals everywhere now and we're going to die cut this one because it is so easy to paper piece together so and again look just falls out they they are such fantastic dies but anyone who's had dies before will know that the dies always do cut like a dream okay so now we've got that beautiful so you could actually put the the gold over the top of the pink I mean you start let's put that on a piece of white I mean look it just changes how it looks even just so much you can do with them and have that lovely bit in the middle you can pull the stamens up so they're really standing up as well so let me get rid of those a minute I'll do it onto the back of this piece of card actually 
I only want to place it there so I can show you. So what makes it really easy is we'll do it with the gold. So then you've obviously got to find the right petal. So that goes in that one, I think. But once you've done it once or twice, you will get to know. And that one is probably that one. And you're just going to paper piece them back into the right holes. There we go. And you will know if it's right or if it's wrong because it's going to clip in, like actually clip almost like into position. That's not that one. That must be that one. That's why it's not staying there. And then that one. And then that one. And then I would always just like curl these, give these a little bit of movement, but just then put that down in the middle. Let's bring this up. See, only thing with doing it with Miri card, you actually lose, a, I can see it in the light, but obviously you're losing it a little bit. But they're absolutely fabulous and so easy to do. Just move those out of the way. Okay, so let me show you some beautiful samples. And I have lots, lots and lots. I could tell that everybody loved the um, flowers. But to me, how beautiful is this? So Hazel has um, dry embossed the background through an embossing folder. And then she's used the flower stems to create those. And then she's die cut the flowers out of spotty papers and then added the black on the top and the impact of that black outline and the lovely sentiment as well beautiful and then this is one that i did this is um very hazel used some of hazel stamps in the background so i've done inky background did the same with the outline on the flowers but then i've added the extra flower like the outline on the top and I've added the stamens as well to it and cut round my sentiment so you don't have to use them just as they come cut into them then we've got this beautiful one from Philippa love this with the retro daisy where she's actually used this this has been inked so she's die cut these out of mask it I would imagine and created like a background and then inked over the top and all the wording as well. I love that wording in the background. And again, she's cut into her sentiments. Looks beautiful. Love how she's layered the retro daisies together as well. So don't forget to use your dies as stencils. Something I don't do that much, I must admit. Then again, this one, um, this, I made this one. So again, inky background, just white this time, but with mirrorboard centers to my flowers and some splats of ink as well. But that miri board in the center, honestly, it really does show it off. Fabulous. Then I love this from Mariam, the simplicity of it, and she won't mind me saying that, but the lovely white, the stamens from the middle with some glosses in, and she's used one of the foilables, which she has foiled in silver, just for the sentiment, but added that color behind it. So really simple, but so effective. And then this one from Hazel, where she's used that stamp again. <laughs> and again, she's used the stem, but put the just the outline where she's doubled up on her daisy and added the stamens as well. And again, using the, the happy, but this time cutting the birthday from the sweet sentiments. So everything that you might have already from me in your collection is going to work beautifully. You can mix and match them and they, they're going to work so well together. And I love this real neon one from Emma Smith. Absolutely stunning. Die cut all the, the daisies, the retro daisies from all those different colours. And then she's stamped her sentiment onto the um, circle die. And that this is the one from the layers, layers, frames and banners and the dinky one as well, layered together. But how fun is that? Absolutely fabulous. And then got another one from Emma. So this is where she's die cut all her flowers from pastel colours and mixed and matched paper piece the petals into different outlines. So you've got those lovely and then she's used the leaves as well. Absolutely stunning. And again, heat embossed the sentiment, but it's beautiful. 
let's put that one down there i'm trying to get it so you can see lots of them all in one go and then this one is from joe and i love i love <laughs> i just realized i love how she's done the retro but she's got hazel stencil oh joe that's a, that's incredible might need you to um do a facebook live for that one i don't know how you've done it oh You've die cut lots into a piece of something and you've made a stencil, which you've then stenciled through, I think. We will see. But that's lovely. I love the retro daisies. Beautiful with the white leaves tucked under here as well. And again, the layers with the black and then the pink and then offsetting them as well. It's absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. And then another one from Emma, I think... Yeah, we've, these are, oh no, I've got a couple more from Jo. Okay, so this one from Emma Smith, again, I love how it cuts out of the glitter card. Absolutely beautiful. I made a sensor with the flower and sensor through. I got there in the end. <laughs> and I love how Emma's done these with the gold and then the glitter centers. Again, the, the sentiments on the hexagons just look fabulous. And again, it's a, a like a, gatefold no it's not a gatefold what is it it's just been cut down with the front but really pretty and i love the arrangement of the flowers as well and then this one of joe's just it's so striking just those white retro daisies got that lovely skinny frame i love all these strips of rainbow color card behind it the simplicity, but it's just beautiful. And all the centres as well from the flowers, they're actually built up. So there are two, yeah, two, two layers, but it really looks dimensional. It makes so much difference when you do things like this. It's absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Really bright and colourful. Then this one from Emma, um, she's done the outline flowers onto text paper. If I bring it up a bit closer, you'll better see. And then she's die cut all the lovely Miri card for the daisies and glitter centers for the stamens. And then she's even paper pieced all the, I'm gonna call it a maiden hair fern, that leaf, but it's, it's absolutely stunning. And again, the sentiments onto the um, dinky circle dies and the heart frame that you get. It's absolutely beautiful. And then we have this one as well that Emma made. And she's used acetate for the front of her card, doubled up on the flowers with hearts in the middle, which you get in the flower dies. And she's joined the two sentiments together. So to my lovely friend, wishing you a day as special as you are, which is absolutely gorgeous. She's used the layers, banners and frames for us the scallop rectangle and then inside she's done white daisies with pink centers as well i am so lucky to have such talented design team i really am and then this one i just absolutely love i think she has inked and die cut flowers in the different colors and then she has die cut two more daisies outlines and put them over the top so this really has some dimension to the actual flowers. I don't know if I'll be able to pick it. Yeah, you can see it there. But it's absolutely stunning. And just again, the dinky, dinky, dinky dye rectangle for the sentiment here. And just, you don't have to have a whole flower. Like you can still see it's all part of the daisy as well. Absolutely stunning. So they are those cards. I'm gonna clear these away because I want to bring in and show, I know I showed them this morning, but I'm just gonna show them very quickly again, some of the projects <coughs> that Joe and Hazel and Emma have done. So, and don't forget, you can find all this inspiration over on the Pinterest boards. So I'll start with this beautiful box that Emma has decorated. So lo lovely flowers, again, oh, just so beautiful with that, really really fine gold outline of those flowers absolutely stunning and then that lovely sentiment on the top again with the dinky circle die the leaves with the pattern paper but the foil 
the Miri on the top absolutely stunning so if you haven't got any miri card i think you need miri card for this collection we looked at the frame let's just show emma's wreath very quickly again it's a beautiful wreath made out of lots of different glitter cards pattern papers cardstock and then the plain colors it's just absolutely gorgeous actually let's put these see if i can get them all in and then i'll bring the frames in over the top no, that's not going to do it that way because you can see the top of it then. And then this beautiful frame that Hazel has made. Absolutely stunning. I love it from the, the dotty papers. But how striking all those black elements look on there. The leaves and then the black outlines on the flowers. So much dimension in here as well. And this beautiful frame that Hazel has made because Hazel's clever like that. And then I'm going to show you one last thing. And this is what Joe made. And I'm just going to take my light off of it a little bit. Um, so this is the picture that Joe did. And she's got all the lovely leaves around the edge with out of vellum, out of glitter card. She's got the stamens there that layered up. So they look almost like snowflakes. And she's got the Merry Christmas die in the middle there. And that will be coming very soon. So... Yeah, we'll, we'll be having a Merry Christmas profile die set as well. So beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So let me bring the lights back in. I am going to flip the camera. Leave my board so I don't sit on it. Bear with me. And I just wanted to say... <laughs> I just wanted to pull my light off the wall, okay? <laughs> All right. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all your support today. I'm going to go back and read all the comments and everything. And for all of you that have placed orders with any of the stockists that have it, um, yeah, just enjoy it when you get it. Please um, put a hashtag of Julie Hickey Designs on the any photos that you shared. Love to see it. Don't forget we've got um, Crafty Friends of Julie Hickey Designs, which is a Facebook group where we share lots of inspiration. So if you're not a member, go and search for it on Facebook and you can join the group and share anything that you make with the June Hickey Design stuff. So yeah, go off, find a stockist listed at the top of my page. Um, what else? Big thank you to the DT, you're all amazing. I'm so glad that you've loved seeing all the samples. I know you do. It, it just, yeah, gives so much inspiration, really does. And I will be back here tomorrow at eight o'clock and I will make something with you. So I will see you soon. But thanks ever so much again. And thank you for all your support. Take care. Bye.